Okay. So, I've saved Monica. One of those things that could have completely skipped over, but then I definitely wouldn't be going for the true best ending. But I'm not even specifically trying. I wasn't trying at the beginning of this to go for the best ending, but I feel like I'm along, going along the path to go for the best ending right now. So, as long as my first playthrough has me going for the best ending anyway, I might as well just continue down it and see if I can get it. That's what I think. Myself up. Over that way. So, let's go this way. Let's go right through there. Climb on through. No, I not trust Eric. I mean, what? Either Jessica is wrong, or she's not trustworthy, or Eric is not trustworthy. Which one do we call? No, I do not want you to go back up. Just go down there, ma'am. You got the right idea. Of course, uh, things are stacked against Eric right now because uh, we are the player that's seen multiple viewpoints. We know that good old professor there got a magically turned. He had a difficult time. I guess let's talk to you. Thank you. We stand a good chance of getting the power back on thanks to your friend. Now we should be able to get to the elevator running too. Before I forget, I need some help from my friend. Your friends? You mean they're still in this area? Yes, actually. You found her in the storage area, I see. And you say she's in a bad state? Yes, even though I think you're not in it. In that case, you should take these. Her weakened state may well be accumulated for result of her injuries. What kind of drug is this? They're antibiotics. Her wounds might not be deep, but there's still reason for concern. If left alone, she could develop bl blood poisoning. Is this a trap? Is this a goddamn trap? Is this like, oh hey, give her these mysterious pills. They'll kill her. Both you and your friend should ingest them. Yeah, okay, see, now that was the line to tell me that it's not trustworthy. Because I only have light scratches. You even said that when we first met. Not, hey, you should take these pills non-conspicuously because you found your friend who was locked by some mysterious stranger. Okay, thank you. Time to not ingest the obviously evil pills. This game is a low-budget game, that's what the models look up. But yeah, I, I wish your friend a speedy recovery. Again, make sure you take them as well. Blood poisoning is no laughing matter. <laughs> Fucking A. Are you going to go through the air duct? If you've wrapped up everything up on this side, you should get going as soon as possible. The scale of the damage from the explosion is unclear. But chances are good this area will be flooded too. Remember, food poisoning. A split player's in position there. Let's. Yeah, you know, I finished everything I think I need to do here. Let's go. Very well, in that case, head to the passenger floor on the other side of the air duct. And before you go, keep an eye out for a fork in the air duct passage. One of these paths will be marked the number 13. That's the one you go down. What about you? I'm still going to bring the power back online to this side. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you before you know it. I'm too young to die. Ha 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 ha. Well, going through with this. Climbing on through the vents. Jumping on out. Here I am. I need to finish something I didn't start. Oh, wait. Let's answer. Hello? Hello, Rooney? The monster, it's it's in the cargo hold. What? How? Uh, why? Why? Uh, oh, no. Professor? Hello? Hello? can't go backwards, so even though I don't get the best in it, I'm trying my best to see what I can change about my fate. 
Maria, then given Maria might not have been a savable character, Maria was kind of the character we really have met the least. She could also very well be related to the Scissor Walker. Anyways, 12. I'll climb up here. Time for more to crawl through. Everyone's gonna die someday. God see. I fell for Eric's goddamn trickery. Obviously, we weren't supposed to trust him, but at least he got a death scene. Another death scene to end of my death scene collection. Just looking over the stuff there. Okay. Save data again for my newest, my last continue point. Has it still not updated the chart since this level? No, actually, it's actually updated it. Have you read the memoirs? What? Wait, has this not been chapter three at all? No, no, I'm playing chapter three right now, but there's so much more to this. Am I going towards a bad ending? Certainly looks that way, doesn't it? What the fuck's the memoirs? Oh no. I thought I was doing pretty okay, but I don't know. Have you read the memoirs? Well, let's not get the best ending. We're getting whatever ending we're on going towards. I don't... Where are the memoirs? Save data. Continue. I mean, I'll continue along the path I'm going, but that red does imply something bad, and it looks like... Oh. And have you read the memoirs? Don't even know. Wait, actually, he told me to go inside 13, went down 12, and I got killed. So maybe, maybe he was being trustworthy? The memoirs, though. I don't remember seeing anything like that. I kind of did a pretty good job exploring, I thought. Let's continue on forward. Then, yeah, obviously, there's a thing to peek through there. Let's get to Let me actually see this death scene. That was worth it. And the thing I could have just completely skipped over viewing that. Hmm. But you know what? I'll do it again. This time I'll do it correctly. Continue. Yes. Let's climb up here. Places to crawl. I could have clicked it for a second. But no such luck again. I like that death scene. Moving on from there, let's see what's right through this vent area. Hip hip. Help! Somebody!
Now let's walk right over her corpse. Aye, aye, and continue on further down. There's another thing to view through. So yeah, this one goes down. Hip, hip. Same sort of deal or a different deal? Or is this the one that we're gonna kinda of go through this time? That's the one that we're gonna kinda of go through. Yai. Made it! Now, what's inside this pure red room? Obviously, we didn't save Maria there, but yai. Hmm. Interesting. Just a pure red room here. Is the cell phone charger like I think it is? Clinical records have been left on this desk. It's as unclear what they were being on to. Rooney, that's an abnormal number of drawings of internal organs and bone structures. As opposed to the normal number of abnormal <laughs> organs and bone structure pictures. Still, though, that looks more like notes in preparation for an autopsy to clinical records. Sorry, I accidentally did something which messed that up for a second. Clinical records. Wait, wait, wait. There's something over there. You look at another look at the clinical records. The doctor hasn't filled their name in, let alone the name of the patient. Strange, isn't it? There's a phone charger. There's the phone charger I thought I saw. Okay. Phone charger. Take Eric's medication. I'm sure that's not going to bone me over. <laughs> anyway, so. I should recharge my smartphone just in case. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Figured it out. By which I mean I plugged my phone in and saved my game. <laughs> I'm a genius. Still though, rolling from there. Take that and let's explore. Any medicines here? Various medicines have been crammed into the shelves. I can't tell what kinds of medicines these are, even from the labels. It might be the best not to touch them. Oh, that's in already. Uh, 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 oh, my head. It's killing me. I was waiting. You finally made it here, Rooney. Now, we can play together. Forever. I'm assuming that's the bad, yep, you know what? I think that was the bad ending I was working towards. I think that was one of the endings. Yep, that was an ending, I was right. That was one of the goddamn endings, the one which my path was taking me towards. Purgatory. Kind of interesting. But yeah, yeah, yeah. game over. He's only seen about 44, less than half of them. Unfortunately, I'm, so that's probably happens because I don't remember what my past is. I didn't find my memoirs. So, obviously I need to locate my said memoir. I can't continue for my last save point because that's going to end me up in this situation. Maybe I can load one of the previous chapters and figure out what the goddamn memoirs are. Have you read the memoirs? Why, no, good sir. I have not read the memoirs. How, this game has quite a bit more to it, which I find surprising. Because even at that point in stage, there's apparently still a lot more left, so yeah, yeah. Yep, I asked the question. I asked... Oh, hey, it starts me from here. Okay, it's not quite as bad. It's me wearing the mask. I need to read the goddamn memoirs. Someone fetch me the memoirs. <laughs> I need... Okay, so I'm going to have to play to try and figure out what the memoirs are. Group of masked men and women surround the bonfire. So we've already played this bit, so I'm going to sort of just catch myself up here. Uh, guy wearing the mask. I'm going to move over this way.
The memoirs are my destiny. I'll find them. Thankfully, since I've already done all this, I pretty much already know how to catch myself up to where I was. Let me get Warden's number here. Whatever his name was, his name Warden. Or something, it was Will, I guess. Maybe it was Will Warden. Let's see his Will, let me see what his name was. Name, Will Anderson. Okay, so it's not Warren, it's just Will Anderson. Got that. I am going to explore. Now, I actually think that where I... Okay, so I feel like what I'm missing is elsewhere. All the windows have been boarded up messily and are completely covered up. The air in this room is musty, perhaps the result of boarding the room in. That sounds likely. There's a phone charger here, I remember that, but I'm not gonna fuck up. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. <clears throat> Open this up, I got things to explore. I'm gonna goddamn figure out where these memoirs are. I feel like it's related to the billiard balls because I only found B and there's apparently several missing. But where would they have been? The food in the other room must have been prepared here. Cans and containers of prepared food are scattered in the kitchen. Garbage for preparing the food that hasn't been left in the kitchen. Don't these people know how to clean up after themselves? My mother would punish them by locking them in the closet. That's kind of dark. Well, time to climb the ladder. Let's move back up. Um, we got the purgatory ending because apparently I missed something called memoirs, which I think I know what they're about. I just don't know how you're supposed to obtain them. I have an idea, but I don't actually know how you're supposed to obtain them. Because there was a billiard ball I picked up that was a set of billiard balls I needed to find. And even though I looked, I, I thought felt like I looked everywhere. Apparently I missed some or something. Probably fake books. We all the same things there. Now I'm much press. Sterilizing a fake eye. How peculiar. It's not like I know anyone who sterilizes fake eyes. Let's go through all that. Stuff doll. Let me take the hand of fake, because I'm going to need it later. Sorry, I'm skipping all this, just because we've already seen it. Preserved in formalin. Now I'll stick my head out, learn the guys outside. I'm just get the cutscene like as we've seen it already. And now I'm gonna take my phone, I'm gonna use the phone and try to call Will Anderson. Again, it's giving the cutscene because we've already seen it. Should I make this completely unwise decision? I'm gonna make this completely unwise decision. I'm gonna go backwards and get myself killed because I think there might be a death scene involved. And if there is, it'd be kind of cool to see it. And then I'm gonna regret it because I have to do everything I just did all over again. But I'll do it for a death scene, apparently. death scene. Does that count as a different death scene? It's the other cult one we saw earlier. Is that just another cult death scene in this game's eyes? No, that counts as a different death scene. Well, that's good to know. At least it wasn't useless. I was just thinking about it. I was like, oh, that's probably a death scene, actually. So, rolling from there. Now, I gotta regret that decision I just did, because I'm gonna have to start from the very beginning of that last sequence I bet. Even though since I looked at the things, I could probably... Yep. Oh, wait for that to go through. Here's our party scene. 
Yeah, and since I'm catching up, and we're not going to be able to see the memoirs yet. We're going to go to the jazz music in the same place. Talk to everybody a few times because I can. Nice to see you. Blah, blah, blah. Good times. I remember when you died in another timeline. <laughs> oh, wait, that's probably still going to happen to you. Let's talk to you, sir. Sorry, sir. I'm gonna talk to Jeremy, I'm gonna talk to all my friends. Catching up with everybody. Hey, actually showed up, Professor. Alright, I'll see ya. Let's talk to you. I'll talk to Jeremy, trigger my scenes with him and his blank, creepy stare. Remember his night for the cruise? Okay, yeah, he's finished with all he's gonna tell me. This guy's looking for his brother. Hopefully that works out okay for him. Let's open this up. Now, I'm actually going to watch this scene, next cutscene, because I want to remember what it was all said. And also, it's a very bizarre, but interesting cutscene. Bizarrely interesting, and I love. The ocean at night seems to suck you in, don't you think, Rooney? Don't you think it would feel so nice to be sucked into the ocean? Probably comfortable in the ocean. Like a soft bed. It's a bit salty, so you should bring some candy. I like lemon and fruit punch flavored candy. It's sparkly and beautiful. It's like a billion stars are at the ocean floor. You're lucky. The sparkles are all yours. And you're gonna become a sparkle too. Rooney, can you wait for me down there? You can't take all the candy, though. You should get some rest in the soft and comfy ocean. Hey! Uh. You alright? You're about to fall into the ocean. Talks about who was raised from a pack of wolves. That's not what he's talking about at all. But anyway, scenes. He says, "Hey, want to go drinking with me?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And I go over here. And I'm like, "Oh, that feeling's gone." Oh, Kara. What was her name? I must remind myself. Connie. That was it. Not Kara. Whatever I was trying to think of. Connie. It is. I go back into this room, and all my hip friends are gone, except for the professor, who's obviously just as hip as any of them. Moving on. Moving on this way. Talk to you, professor. They're a fickle lot. Ah, ha 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 ha. That's quoting the professor there with that one. Now we go over here. It's now over his favorite scenes. Jeremy's room should be some direction. Now, before we go inside Jeremy's room, though, we have to first visit the pool room to get this phone number from this guy, which I don't even know if we ever really get. I don't see it. Add he gets added to my SNS, but I don't see him get added to my phone list. I remember like, I recalled that being kind of odd in the first place, too. And we're talking about we don't really know much about billards or about goddamn darts over here. We don't really understand them. What are these strange games before us? I don't get it. Let me talk to you. Met, we get his information, I'd be happy to play. Okay. And now if we look at our phone, he actually is not added, I don't think, to my list. Let's cruise. No, that's not him. But I do get him in my SNS message where he shows a picture here, which might be related to a puzzle. This is Sal, first may have like problems posting another snooker ball. It's best to start from the basic nine ball gone. Okay. So we get that, which might be related to this puzzle to get my memoirs, like I'm thinking it might be. 
I don't know why it's completely related to me getting my memoirs, but it's maybe what I'm supposed to be doing. At the very least, I think it's something in this section I'm supposed to be doing. I'm gonna trigger the scene with Ronnie. Not Ronnie. Jerome. Or Jeremy, as I like to call him. And sit down. He has a weird dream about the scissor walker approaching him. We walk towards him. Hello, Jerome. I still completely suspect you, even though we're much further in the game than we are right now. And it's just I'm replaying the sequence because I think I missed something to get the good endings. We got a bad ending. So he has this talk. Great talk, Jerome. Yeah, he's got this down. He's learning how to talk about his inner memory lapses, which is completely normal. And don't let, him tell, don't let anyone tell Jerome otherwise. Let's go inside here. Oh my, I've got... This part doesn't make any sense to me. This door likely is the bathroom. I have standards. I can't just go peeking in on someone's bedroom. She's like, oh, look at these high standards I have. Can't possibly peek in someone's bedroom, but what's this? The bath is on? Well, let me just come right on in without knocking or anything. Aye, aye. Of course, that isn't quite yet there, but still, though. <clears throat> Let's get this. One cabinet. Okay, she's going to start mentioning the sound so I can trigger the scene. Let me observe this door again. Like, leaves the bedroom. I've got standards. I don't just go pee. Maybe I'm just supposed to wait for the sound. There you go. Now she hears a shower running. I've got standards, she claims. And da da. Then she's like, well, fuck those. And here, let's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now then. It's okay. Well, to be fair, the characters mostly have kind of common names. They may not like the most common, but kind of common. They've got very American fits the bill names, which isn't bad. The names make sense. I like them. Just it's not like they're wholly unique, original. You're never going to hear them anywhere. They're very obtuse names. Jerome? Yarp, and then the scissor walker would pop up where I'm on chasing now. Speaking of which, I should run this way, not that way. I'd rather not run out of stamina, so let me go this way. You can hear the baby calls when it does that. It hasn't caught up with me yet. Break inside here, and now quickly hide there. I'll trigger this hiding scene. Gotta hide, don't you know? Scissor Walker is all boy. Now he purposely ran into this room again, even though there's other places I could have hide before then, probably, because there's something which I need in this room, and I think it's the beginning to be trying to find whatever it is I'm looking for. Now, I don't exactly know what I'm looking for, but I definitely have ideas. And the first thing I think I need is inside this room. Nicely fitted. Oh, A doll? Yeah, that's creepy doll scene. I like how the doll subtitles really just coo. Magazines, there we go. Now what I wanted to pick up from this. A spherical object sits grossly out of place in the crib. A ball? Looks like a billiard ball. Was that always? I thought it was green last time. But I do think it was number... 
I don't remember. It's a billiard ball. I didn't actually look in here last time. A metal trash can. There are a few pieces of scrap paper, nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, yeah. Now check out this weird scene with her. people, right? So you need to be punished. Mommy and Daddy would lock you up in the closet for the night. But I'm nice, so all you need to do is play with me. Come on over. I'll be waiting for you. It's what you want, isn't it? So let me express this for those who are tuning in or just wanted the full idea. Apparently him and I have been taking the exact same pathway through the game. Uh, we have very similar play styles from what I've put together. We've been figuring out things on our own and all that. So we are both around the exact same point. We're right here. But the problem is that he and I both failed at this. Have you read the memoirs? Which lens is on this pathway? Did you take the antibiotics? Which I did not. And send us into goddamn purgatory. But 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 here we are. Here, have you read the memoirs? No, I have not. And here's the theory: there might be some things related to the memoirs that we need to do. In fact, I'm gonna have to reload this save file again right now. Yes. So. Theory about what might work itself as we piece together how to access the memoirs. So I'm working with somebody else that's at the same point in the game that I am. Keep in mind that when we're recording this, uh, there's no walkthroughs or guides. It seems like me and one other guy out places talking about Nightcry are ahead of everyone else at the point in the game. I mean, you've been watching me play. The puzzles this we've been gained mostly. This one seems trickier than anything else we've done so far, though. Oh. This is the first time the game's crashed on me. Next to the game executable, it would be great if you could send this developer to the game. I'll take a screenshot of that. I feel pretty proud of myself, because there's a lot of people that have been getting stuck at puzzle things up before this point, which is why I don't think there's very many people up at this point at the moment. But yet, surprisingly, I, the puzzle, I mean, there's a few that took me a few minutes to figure out, but there's been nothing like entirely too complex so far. This will only be the trickiest one. There's maybe an easy to miss step here. so. Uh, me and this other person have been working out how to get the memoirs to not go across the end path to Purgatory. Don't get me wrong, the Purgatory path had some cool imagery and all that, but obviously we want to see if we can get the best possible ending. And here is what the conclusion was brought upon. Because apparently, on the smartphone line on the table, there's something which I missed here, which I know you could even do, which is why this way back point is as way back as it is. It seemed kind of weird that it sent you back to this point in the game. And I was thinking, ah, well, I wonder if it's just a weird checkpoint thing. But no, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like there is, in fact, an intentional point to why the way back point sends you all the way back here. Because there's something you need to do here if you want to be able to read the goddamn memoirs, supposedly, here. So here's what he discovered. He seems to discover two things. First of all, we're pretty sure it's related to the billiard balls because you collect those, and apparently there's others that you missed and all that, but you aren't able to fully get. So as I actually realized, you could look at the window over there and look. Like, the forest is a glow with flame. Embers drifting in the wind. The clearing with the bonfire must be out soon. So anyways, here's what it is. You observe the eyeball. Is someone sterilizing their false eye? Whoever it is must be the owner of this place. I bet they're holding the keys to unlocking this mystery. I've got to get the students weighing back on the ship know about this as soon as possible. Now, here is the obvious thing I should have realized. What he means by this, if about letting them know it's possible, it's not what I was trying to do and run back, because, you know, he, he doesn't get back to the students in time. We know what happens to him. He gets knocked out by the cult member. But what you can do is that you can send out a... SNS message to inform the students. Dear students, it's possible a person with an artificial eye is involved in this. 
Be very cautious if you find such a person on the ship. That's what he meant when he says that he needs to inform the students about this. It's not my dumb idea of running back, which I should have realized because we know what happens to him at this point in the story. He's going to get clonked on out. Apparently it's related to him posting this message to the students because everyone's connected with smartphones about warning them, hey, yeah, there's a false eye here and other things. Be wary of anyone that has a false eye. This stuff, dog. No, it's a woofer. Let me pick up the hand. Yeah, yeah. Now we've already done all this, so obviously I'm gonna catch myself back up again. You found hands of glory. Now peek my head out. I'll take my not my phone address. That's not what I want to do at all, actually. Um. Put my phone away, take the rope, attach it to this, throw the rope out of the window, we're gonna climb on down, I'm skipping all the cutscenes at the moment. Oh, I didn't ring the doorbell! Well, actually, you no, know, this probably got me another death scene. To wish to die. Yep, there we go, I'm actually happy I did that on accident right now, because that counted as another death scene. <laughs> okay. Save data. 